My name is Linda. Welcome to my channel. Before we get to my video, I would like to do a disclaimer. All products mentioned and used in my videos are not sponsored. If you have a favorite brand, use your favorite brand. Thank you. Preheat the oven to 350. Today I'm going to be making meatloaf. I'm going to be using ground beef, oatmeal, ketchup for the top, egg, onion, garlic, V8 juice, salt, and pepper. On to the recipe. I'm doing a big meatloaf, so it's three pounds of meat, one cup of oats. For now, we might have to add more later on. One egg beaten, half teaspoon pink Himalayan salt, four teaspoon black pepper, one onion, two cloves of garlic, and a cup of V8 juice. So all we're going to do is mix it all together. That's the oats, salt, and pepper, the onions and garlic, the beaten egg, and the cup of V8. Now all we do is mix it together. Yes, it's messy mixing it together, but you want to make sure it's totally mixed together. If we have to add more to it, we will add more to it. But we're just going to mix everything together really good. All I did after mixing it was put it in a meatloaf pan. Now I'll be topping it with ketchup. I put the ketchup on it, now I'm going to marinate it overnight. That way it's flavorful tomorrow when I bake it. I'm going to put the meatloaf in. Cook it an hour and a half. There we go. It's in. It's almost time. I'm going to see if I have to take out some of the juice that's in the pan. Because I normally do. Yeah, I got to take out some of the juice. Because I got way too much juice in there. I'll be making ketchup gravy with it. See, we got way too much juice, so I'm just going to pour some juice off. I'll be using it for my gravy. Go. I'll put you back in the oven a little bit because it needs to be done a little bit more. But that will be my drippings for my ketchup gravy. Now what I'm going to do with the pan drippings, I'm going to put in the ketchup. All of it. And all the pan drippings because I'm turning it into gravy and I'm just mixing the two together to see it's thick enough for the out the corn starch in there so now I want to thin it down a little bit without adding the corn starch to it I'm going to add a little bit of water I just have the corn starch on back up just in case I need it. Now I'm going to turn on the burner. I'll take the meatloaf off. Take off the foil. There we go. And now we're going to let it set for 15 minutes to cool. It slices better when it's cooler. I made some instant potatoes. Now I'm going to take the meatloaf out. We got the gravy already done. I put in more pan drippings in it to thin it out a little bit. Now I'll take the meatloaf out. This is what the final plate looks like. It looks good. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.